school just for you and me. No more shopping frantically. Come and show me how to cook. I can learn without a book. My eyes are on your every move. You always turn my appetite The things you do turn out just right To my delight I'm waiting for a rainy day To try out what I learned today Gonna make some chicken wings today We're gonna do very, very easy ones and very quick ones. And this is good enough for, this is quite good enough for company. First of all, you separate an egg, which means getting the yolk. I've really blown that one, look. But what you do is pour the yolk in there and let all the white go. Let me just show you. I'm gonna put that bit of egg yolk over there. Here's a bit more white in there. That's quite enough for us to mess with, okay? Just break the, the egg. Let the white run out and keep the yolk. I'm doing this because I want to save us all getting too much fat and cholesterol. So I've got egg yolks in there. I'll put them both in that little dish. Right, I've got egg white in here. Just beat up a little tiny bit, get a little bit of air in it, and then take the chicken wings. Now let's take, let's take the middle bits. See, the middle bits, not the long bit so let's get a whole one to show you again what have we got here this one will do right those are the the nubbly bits and these are the long skinny bits so let's get the long skinny bits and do those we'll put them in the put them in the egg white and you can do this with the other bits too but i want to show you something nice with the other bits in a minute so just turn them over in the egg white and the egg white is there just to make things stick to these chicken wings no I'm going to give them a little bit of flavor. How am I gonna give them a little bit of flavor? Well, I'm gonna put a little bit of cayenne pepper. I'm gonna put a little bit of cayenne pepper right on the top so that it will stick to them, okay? See how much you can see how much you've got control over this. Now, these are fairly spicy chicken wings. Now, take some sesame seeds, and if you haven't got sesame seeds, you can use breadcrumbs, but don't tell anybody. Just dip them in the sesame seeds like that. Get yourself a baking sheet, put them on the baking sheet. If you want to put them in black sesame seeds, that's just fine. See how it sticks all over? Now normally when you use sesame, see I've got one hand that's all mucky and one hand that isn't. So I'll put that in there and I've got one hand that's fairly clean. And there we are, we've got black ones. Oh, I'm going to put it up the wrong hand. And we've got white ones. All right. There you are, more white ones. And we've got chicken wings, which are perfectly good thing to give people, provided you don't get yourself bogged down in the dreadful, complicated recipes that usually come with them. They're dead easy, you can get, you can get your kids to do that. All you gotta do with those is bung them in the oven, because there's enough fat inside the chicken to come out through the skin and cook them. So I'm going to put those in the oven at 375 degrees uh, for about 15, 20 minutes. And I'm going to show you something else wonderful to do. Now look here. This is a really nice thing to do. You get these little, see these little bits? The, this is the top end of the chicken wing. You get yourself a little sharp knife and you cut around. Can you see? Just cut around the skin on it like that and then stand it up and push it all down. Push it down, whoops, push it down the, I'm slippery this morning. I've got egg white on my fingers, that's the real problem. Here, I'm just gonna snick that out of it, like that. All right, now push all that meat down the, down the chicken wing until it gets down to the end. That's all. You don't have to be too fussy about it. Just push it down into a lump. Let's get another one. Here we go. This is then what they call a little drumette. Now what I'll do very quickly is crank up that fire, push all this meat down on here like this. All right, push it down into a little nib. There. 
through the skin and push it down. This is not a thing for children to do, but this is a great way to have a little sort of appetizer in a hurry. Put a little bit of oil in there. All right. Dip it in the egg white. I'll just do one or two of these to show you. Then dip it in the sesame seeds and then throw it into the hot oil. Now you just try this. Egg white makes it stick. Hear them popping already. Put it in the pot. I'm going to do three or four more of these and I'll be back in two minutes. Furniture to go. Weekdays at five on TLC. Hi, honey. I'm stuck at work. Can you get something to eat? Hon, I'm late again. Can you get something to eat? Yeah, I know it was my night to cook. I'm really sorry. Easy recipe to the rescue. Just saute chicken and add easy recipe sauce, pasta, and crisp bird's eye veggies. You got a complete meal in only 15 minutes. Are you there? Pick up. Are you there? Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Life may be hard, but with easy recipe, dinner's easy. From Bird's Eye, the fresh look for vegetables. Good news, this Ultra Palm Olive Antibacterial is ultra concentrated. So just a little bit gets grease off dishes. And germs off hands. Wow, that's really good news. Yeah, unless you're a germ. It's the Ultra Anti-Germ Palm Olive. Oh, quick chicken's what we're doing today. And remember we made those little drumettes. We'll look at them in the pan. Aren't they pretty? They look like little lamb cutlets and things in there. These are really great. But they're not cooked yet. You can see, see, there's still pink hanging around in there. They cooked on the outside. So we're going to let them cook. Put the lid on, and that'll keep the heat in. They can cook slowly. And they've got the crisp on the outside. Now look by comparison to the oven. All right, the ones in the oven are cooking slower and they're getting not quite so brown yet, but they'll be more cooked because they've got more heat going around. But you can cook a lot of oven things. You cook in the fry pan. Fry pan things you can cook in the oven. And if you use, I mean, when you cook chicken, try not to use too much oil when you've got skin on it because you use the natural chicken oil. See, let's have another look in that pot and look, see how little oil there is because you've got pan that isn't going to stick to you. You can't do that in an old, fry pan, old cast iron fry pan. No. Let's do something really fancy here with this other kind of chicken. This is chicken breast, all right? Chicken breast has one great advantage, it cooks quickly, and one disadvantage, it's very expensive. But if you want to learn to cook chicken, you start off with the expensive stuff, and then you work down, because you know that it'll take you know, twice as long to cook if it isn't chicken breast, if it's got a bit of bone in it, it might take three times as long to cut, but that's all. So cut some chicken breast up into bite-sized pieces. And remember when you've done it, always wash the board. Always wash the board and wash your hands well afterwards because chicken does carry salmonella. And so you don't want raw chicken all over the place cut this up so we've got a lot of it. Now this is a fairly simple but fairly fancy dish. It's the sort of dish you might get in a fancy hotel. We're going to cook it with artichokes. All right. And it's very easy. You just crank up a pan that's hot and you put in about two tablespoonfuls of oil. We're putting oil in because it's chicken breast and there's no skin on it, no fat around it. Get oil good and hot. And we'll just put the chicken in. Don't put in too much at a time, but it's in bite-sized pieces, which are going to cook very, very quickly. Stir it all around. There, let's put that in there and give it a good stir. Now, what you need, there's a bit crept on the counter there. Give it a good stir so that everything gets covered in the oil quickly. High heat, okay? See how quickly it starts to turn white. All right, now, what we'll do now, put a little pepper on it, and we'll put the sauce ingredients with it. Now look, pepper. All right, simple, simple, simple. Chicken and pepper. And turn it all around so that the outsides of it get coated. You don't want this to go brown, because it's a delicate dish. Delicate because we're going to use fancy stuff in it. Now, essentially, this needs some garlic. 
and the time to put the garlic in is now. We'll put in about six cloves of garlic and a little bit of salt, I think a little bit of salt on the board so that it will just chop up. It's a bit too much salt, we don't need all that much. Let's get rid of some of that, put it over there. There, and we'll just chop up the garlic. And as soon as you get it sort of smallish chopped, it stays still while it's big. And this is why, again, you have a good sharp knife because you can just stand there with a good sharp knife and do this, not even look at it. You know it's chopping all the time. So just push it, you have to push it together. So chop the garlic up because if you're going to feed people fancy food, one thing that really bugs them is when they have to lean across and say, oh, excuse me, Mrs. Bambert, can I possibly have a toothpick? I've got a large piece of garlic in my back tooth. They, they don't like that. It's not, you know, Martha Stewart doesn't approve of that kind of thing. So we've chopped up our garlic fairly small with a bit of salt. And now we're going to put it into the chicken. A lot of garlic, okay? Don't worry, a lot of garlic will do you a lot of good. Very good for your circulation. Very good for dissolving cholesterol. Very good for making you feel libidinous, all right? And if you have to go and look that up, it's L-I-B-I-D-I-N-O-U-S, but most of you don't. People who cook have got libidos, I'm sure of that. Now, we've got got the garlic in there. We've now got a tin of artichokes to make the sauce. Now, you know, a can of artichokes, all right? You can just put in the artichokes because artichokes give things a special flavor. But if you haven't got artichokes, what you do is get yourself a leek and you cut it, cut, just leave a little bit of the white of the green on, cut it down the middle, cut it crosswise, and a leek will not taste the same, but it will give much of the same character to it. And you can get leeks cheap, all right, in the winter time. Give it a stir, leeks, artichokes, pepper, a little bit of salt on the garlic, and we want some, this bit of leek. Uh, we want some lemon juice, and we want some rosemary. Now, if you've got rosemary growing in the garden, use it. If you haven't, get some dry, and give it a bit of a chop to break it up a little bit. Put rosemary in there. So that's the basic flavoring in there, rosemary. Now look, in the pan, now, see there's moisture in there. Look, see those little drops of moisture? Well, that's all you need to make a little bit of steam. That's what's cooking the dish, okay? That's going to cook that and bring it all together and make its own sauce. A bit of lemon juice on the top, and it's going to take another five minutes to cook. What do we do? Put the lid on it, and bingo, we got our chicken drumettes done. That one's going to cook. I'll be back in two minutes. Visiting this great old lighthouse always makes me think about guidance and direction in my own life. Jesus Christ taught that he is the light of the world. And we learned that he's not very far away from any of us if we're just willing to seek him. That's why I'd like to share something with you. This is the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. You can have a free copy of this sacred book by calling this toll-free number. Its teachings go hand in hand with the Bible and will help you to know and feel closer to Jesus Christ. The more we know about him, the easier it is to understand and live his teachings and then make better decisions and be happier. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints would like to send you a copy of the Book of Mormon as a gift, without cost or obligation, when you call this toll-free number. Reading the Book of Mormon will help you to find Him, know Him, and feel His presence in your life. So please call, because it too can light your way to Christ. TLC Daytime. New shows. Essentials keeps you looking good and feeling good. A Wedding Story invites you to a different ceremony every day. Dream Living gives you an inside peek at some stunning homes. Three premiere series, all new episodes of Great Country Inns, and the return of Simply Style and Renette Jennings. It's TV with a personal touch. Beginning September 30th on TLC. We're here to tell you about Ab Works from Nordic Track, the advanced abdominal exercises. Abworks is fun, it's new, and it's hot. Get Abworks for a smoking new waistline. 
with ab works you can effectively work your abs with complete neck and back support look better sculpt the abs of your dreams the ultimate ab machine is here ab works by nordic track work upper lower and side abdominals with complete support for the head neck and spine for a safe workout tone your entire waistline in just five minutes a day get it for 119.95 or four easy payments of 29.95 call now to order and get this free workout video with complete instructions for 15 ab works exercises plus my 20 minute aerobic workout that's everything you need call now to order the complete ab work system for 119.95 or four easy payments of 29.95 get your ab works today chicken and artichokes or chicken and leeks or chicken and both but see how it's made all its own nice little sauce in there we'll pour that out i made some pasta you don't need to see how i make pasta you can make that just follow the directions on the packet and there it is pretty little fresh great dish for summer if you want it for lunch okay now i'm gonna put on this pan now I'll show you some extra things to do with chicken there's one great way to cook chicken, and that is to poach it. And it's a sort of adaptation of the Chinese style. But what you do with it is put a fair amount of salt in the water, and bring it up to the boil, and then you put the chicken breasts right into it and let them cook for about five minutes, okay? So I'm just gonna put that in. It's not quite boiling yet, but it doesn't really matter. It's nearly boiling. And I'm just gonna put that in there and let it go white and get rid of that. Now, we've got chicken we're gonna make a fantastic italians call this they do it with veal and they call it veal tonato and it's essentially it's veal with the sauce made out of tuna and we're going to do it a different way same flavors different way of doing it quicker way right a simpler way now i've got here my drumettes little tiny drumettes and they can go on a plate i mean just imagine you're having a cocktail party and there you are you put all those Pretty, they're too hot for me to handle just now, but I'll put that in there. And I've got another lot in the oven. All right, let's get the other ones out. They took longer to cook, but there's some black ones and some white ones. And they just, they're all crisp and nice. And we just, they got stuck a little bit. Let's just loosen them up underneath. There, that's okay. Now, we'll put those out on that end of the plate. I mean, there you are, all geared up for your little party. And all you got here is chicken wings, okay? Just make them look great, make them look nice. Always make things look as nice as you can because even if they've got really cheap ingredients in them, people appreciate that. People. Eating is a sensory experience, all right? Eating a very, very special thing to do. So we just put those legs all sticking out the same way, and then you can put whatever you like in them, put a tomato in the middle, and suddenly it looks different. All right. Now let's make this sauce. We've got the chicken breasts boiling, and we're gonna make this sauce with, tonato means with tuna. So we put a can of tuna into the, into the whizzer, all right? You can use tuna in water. Got more vitamins in it than tuna in oil. So we'll put tuna in there and we'll put the juice of half a lemon. Tuna in water is cheaper too, which is a good thing to know about when you're shopping sometimes. So in goes the juice of half a lemon. Squeeze it in and just get the, the pits out of it like that. Okay, we want some mayo. You can use whatever you like for mayo, all right? You can use low cal. You can use proper mayo you make yourself. But we're going to put in about two tablespoonfuls of mayo, all right? And then we're going to put in some capers. Now, capers, you either like them or you don't. Um, I like them, so I'm going to put in quite a lot. But if you put in a tablespoonful of capers, you'll probably find that's quite enough. Now, we've got that. We want a little bit of celery, which we'll just chop up, ready to go. And we want some parsley. Now, I'm gonna chop the stalks off the parsley because we're gonna put it in the blender. We're not gonna cook it. We're gonna put it in the whizzer and the stalks will give us little bits that catch in our teeth. So the parsley goes in 
We've got mayo, tuna, I want some black olives. They can go in there. You can get them out of a can, you can get them fresh, but if you get fresh, you get really, you know, deli olives. Make sure you get the pits out. You put those in the blender, it makes a terrible noise, okay? You want a little bit of garlic, just about one garlic, because we're not gonna cook it, and we don't want too much in there. And we want a little bit of tarragon. Let's see if I've got some tarragon in here. Here we go, here's some tarragon. Right, now about half a teaspoonful of tarragon. And you have to put maybe a teaspoonful because tarragon is more potent when it's, when it's um, fresh and, and dry tarragon isn't so potent. All right, now we're going to turn that into a sauce to start off with. Rinse it up till it's smooth as a base. It's a sort of almost like a tapenade. Now we're going to put in the celery. I want the celery to go in last because it'll keep it a little bit chunky, okay? And you can see right now how our chicken breasts are poaching. And once the water gets boiling with all that salt in there, you can turn the heat right down. And in fact, in Chinese kitchens, they turn it right off and they leave it for half an hour and it cooks beautifully. You can cook a whole chicken that way in an hour by putting it into boiling water and then turning it off and leaving it on. That's what we're doing, okay? Now we've got just about everything going here except the whizzing up of the celery. Now it's, uh, you just whiz the celery until you can just see little chunks in there. Now you want pepper in there, right? Time for some pepper, okay? And if you put no fat mayonnaise in here, then you haven't got a lot of fat. But what you have got is really great, a really low cal, really low cal dish. I like sometimes to put a tomato in. So we just put the tomato in. And then as soon as your, it gives it a little color. As soon as your chicken breasts are cooked, you grab yourself a plate and you whip them out. See, they're pure white because they are poached. And see how pretty they are, like that. And you get the sauce, the nice tonato sauce, and put that beside them. And there you are, wonderful, special fancy dish. I'll be back. <laughs> Dead Easy and Indecently Delicious, Peasant's Choice Cookbook with more of the best recipes from the urban peasant. Over 200 of James Barber's simply and downright sinfully wonderful dishes. Everything from six-pack stew to samosas, plus full-color photos, behind-the-scenes shots, cooking tips, and amusing anecdotes by James. Peasant's Choice, just $16.95 plus $4 shipping and handling. To order, call 1-800-561-9966. Ask for Operator 6. Okay, now we've got to pick Jimmy up from hockey and drop Life is hard. And drop Jimmy and Tommy at Bobby's birthday party. And then you have to make dinner. Easy recipe to the rescue with sauce, pasta, and bird's eye veggies. Just add to chicken. Easy recipe from bird's eye. The fresh look for vegetables. I'm Betty. This is Pat. We're the Reynolds Wrap Kitchen's home economist. Welcome to our cookout. We're steaming vegetables, grilling potatoes, garlic bread, and trout that Pat caught fresh this morning. I'm using Reynolds Wrap heavy-duty aluminum foil to make my entire meal. Here's what happens when you don't. Heavy-duty Reynolds Wrap protects foods from scorching, sticking, and falling through the rack. One more reason, Reynolds has it all wrapped up. This looks done. Coming up, get creative. Make fun, useful things for around the house. Debbie Stapley of Crafts & Company shows you how. Then, get into gardening naturally with Barbara and Elliot right here on TLC. Victims of foul play and unspeakable offense, tortured spirits reach from the grave to haunt the living. Do you believe? Castle Ghosts of England, Sunday night at 10 on TLC. So we did chicken wings two ways, all right? One in the oven, one in the fry pan, the top bit and the bottom bit, but they look pretty enough. They look nice and they a great appetizer. And then we made that great little delicate stew of chicken breast and artichokes, but we, instead of artichokes, we use, well, not as well as we use, we use leeks as well, which you can do, same thing. And then we finished up with this absolutely fragile little poached chicken breast with a 
tonato sauce. I'm just going to put a little bit of pepper on top of that. And isn't that the prettiest thing? I mean, that a real summer lunchtime romance. Leeks are cheap in winter, and they are very, very adaptable. If it says use artichokes, use a leek. Put it in a soup. Put it in almost anything. It'll smooth it. It's got a sweetness, and they're cheap. Try them and use them a lot more. Next on TLC, would you like to express your creativity while making something useful for your home? Join Debbie Stapley of Crafts & Company. Then, get into gardening naturally.